Hello, my fellow Nigerians in Yorkshire, family, students, and businesses in the Yorkshire, in the UK, in Nigeria. Today at 5 p.m. on Zoom, we're going to be doing our JAPA project question and answer session. And I would like to remind you all that uh, if you can go on to the community section and uh, uh, click the link, it's the same link as last time. Join us if you have any questions uh, moving to the UK, uh, conditions in UK, please join us at 5 p.m. I will be there by 5 p.m. today to join you. So, and this is to help our Nigerian family, single students that are about to move to the UK, that are about to move to Yorkshire. We can give you directions, we can give you some advice, some steps to take, some do's and don'ts. Again, this is to help support uh, you that are just about to embark on that very important journey which we have saved money for, which we have money to, you know, some people sell their house, which is not advisable, but we always tell people, please, make sure you do the right thing. The, uh, as I've said in my last JAPA, the International Recruitment for Healthcare and Social Care has now been put on the red list, has now been stopped. Nigeria has been put on the red list. Uh, this is due to World Health Organization saying that uh, they don't want countries like UK, America, Canada to be pulling all the health and workforce of uh, other countries. So you know, what that means is that there is a situation where there is an imbalance. You know, moving all the doctors in Nigeria, moving all the doctors in Africa to UK and America or Canada or Australia. So again, the the hot job now that they're looking for is teaching. If you're a good teacher there, basically this will be a benefit for you. So um, I'm just trying to give you a direction and I've put it on our last JAPA video. But if you want to join today's Zoom session so that you can ask questions, so that you, you can, you know, this is our job here. And for people that don't know me, uh -huh, my name is Mr. J. Skolawole. I'm the founder and the president of the Nigerian Yorkshire Community Network. And, uh, you know, we decide to be doing this every last Sunday, of the, last Sunday of the month. And today is another day. I want people to put it on their calendar every last Sunday of the month at 5 p.m. on Zoom. The link is the same link. You have to join. So I'll be waiting for you 5 p.m. today to join us. Okay? So uh, I look forward to see you. We want everybody to come to this country. But make sure that you don't invest in the wrong future of your family and your children. It's very important. You know, and uh, you know our website is there. Check our website. If anybody has any questions, send us an uh, email admin at nycn.org.uk, and we will be able to help you with lots of information. You know, moving to UK when it comes to accommodation, when it comes to job, and when it comes to setting your children into schools, all those information is very very important that we supply you. Okay, so uh, and this is to help you. As we said, you know, the JAPA project, a lot of Nigerians are traveling to UK without notice, without lack of preparation, lack of financial preparation, which is not suitable for them and their family. Some people will even sell their house. We, we, we do not advise you to sell your house, but we want you to, if you want to leave Nigeria, please leave it in a way that you don't get to another country, you'll be suffering. You know, a lot of Nigerians have made that mistake. At the moment, healthcare and social care work is saturated in the UK. UK is technically in recession. So if you come here, you think that you're going to be getting Monday to Friday's job. There's nothing like that. Students that are paying higher fees, they're, they're even regretting it. They don't know how to pay their school fees. They don't know how to pay their rent. This is why our organization is helping with food share, free food parcel, and etc. And we get this free food from every organization. You can see everything on the YouTube. I put it live on the YouTube there. So again, this is to advise our Nigerians and any Africans that are moving to other countries. These are the preparation you need to make. Make proper preparation. Don't just go there and uh, you know, say, oh, you don't care and you end up falling into trouble, etc. Like that. Make sure that, okay, people that are recruiting for healthcare, there is no job anymore for healthcare in the UK. It's saturated. The hot job now is teaching. So if you're living in Nigeria or anywhere in Africa, you want to come to UK. If you have a teaching professor, profession, to be honest with you, even the UK government will help you with £10,000 for your expenses of moving your, yourself and your family. So these are the hot kids. But, you know, we'll continue to provide you with all those informations so that you can know the right path, the right decisions to make for yourself and your family. Please don't send me WhatsApp. I will not respond. 
I will not respond. Send me an email, I will respond. If I have not responded to you, please, it's all because I have lots of commitment. That is the way things are. But uh, may the Lord continue to bless you. May Allah bless us all. And uh, for those people that are moving, are trying to move, please, let's look before we leave and everything will be okay. So I hope to give you more updates soon. I look forward to seeing everyone this evening on Zoom and every last Sunday of the month, 5 p.m. on Zoom. It's the same link that we use. Please check the profile. You will see that uh, the link are there. So I look forward to uh, speaking to you. Take care. Bye-bye.